I got to ask you about uh, uh, takeoff. Where was you at when you heard that? And and just when you heard that he had gotten uh, uh, killed, where were you? I was in Vegas. And you, you basically, you couldn't believe it either. Like I couldn't me. either. I couldn't at all. I got a call. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. It's hard. <laughs> Don't <laughs> never change, t real. We love you, man. You got to be humble about your, about your, uh, about your gift from God. Man. You're going to stop giving them to you. You're going to wonder what's going on. That's real. Because you ain't humble. When, your heart ain't humble. He, can, he knows your every step. You I got make, it. Make a plan. Tell God. Watch him laugh. I exactly. got to ask you about... Uh, uh, Take off. Where was you at when you heard that? And, and just when you heard that he had gotten uh, uh, killed, where were you? I was in Vegas. And you, you basically, you couldn't believe it either. Like I couldn't me. either. I couldn't at all. I got a call. Baby. Nigga woke me I up. I was just watching this music video. Thank Have you, you met him before? Yeah, I met him in Atlanta at a uh, at Quavo's uh, football game. How was he? Uh, it was cool. He was chill. He was in, he was more Quavo was more out going. Take off more in the back, chilling with his. Everybody said that. Everybody, <laughs> Everybody said he said was more chill, quiet. Say he quiet, he real quiet. Yeah. You say what's up to him? He what's up? He's just, he's just real chill. Wow. And so you, what did you think? Like it wasn't real. Yeah. You like this can't be. This can't this be. This can't be real. I always get that feeling. I always when I when I always get like a real bad feeling when stuff like that happens. Like because I I was actually I talked to P and B Rocket day before he pa- uh, passed away. Really. Yeah, I got text message on my phone. We was talking. We about working the record. He's he was like, um, he said, um, um, he was like, I'm not none of these. I'll show you. I'll tell you exactly what he said. I was mad. Well, I was like, this is crazy. It was PNB. Yeah. The fact that how close it be, man. Man, it, <laughs> it be close. These conversations be so close to. He said, man, I done been through the mud, made it out, just to think I was coming into some real shit. This industry fake as fuck, bro. LOL. Been through so many different situations with these rap niggas. Wow. Uh, we was, he was like, you and the, he said, uh, he said, hell yeah, my nigga, I see you on that wave. I, he said, I love what you're doing, brother. And hell yeah, whenever you and the A just hit me. Man, man. And then next day he was dead. Yeah, I'm tripping out. See, that's the type of shit to be fucking with my head. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you just was talking to this guy a day, a day before. A day before. This stuff is happening in real time. But you know how I look on stuff like this, though? And honestly, I know that it. this is me personally. I feel like everything happens for a reason. Our lives are predestined. And I'm like, okay, it's sad what everything happened, but how can I learn from this situation? Because the lesson that somebody need to need to learn, whether you see how takeoff is and he's quiet, he don't get in no trouble and anything like that, and something like that can happen to him, everybody needs to move a certain way. Yeah. You understand? This can happen to anybody. You don't have to be that person who's starting something. You just wrong place, wrong time. You watch your surroundings. Don't put yourself out there. There's different things. How do I need to learn? How do I need to switch up how I move because of that? It may not change everything, but people are showing more love. If it just changed one person. If more love was shown, bro, it, it, would, it would change homes. If you know, a, lot of these, a lot of these young men grow up in homes where they're not getting love because mom is forced to work and daddy is gone and nobody's there to love them and show them that they can be compassionate. That's the men, streets raise yeah, them. Yeah, the streets raise them. And then men get looked bad at when they show feelings. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You get looked crazy at when, you, when, you, when you're expressive of your heart. Mm-hmm. So but that's changing it, now, though, don't you think? A it's little, not as, a little bit. Right, it's not, not as hard as it used to be. It's still hard. This is where you're going. It's still tough. People don't... Uh, what? That's why songs I make, I'm more vulnerable than win. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The vulnerable person, you're vulnerable. When you, mm-hmm. when, you, when you open your heart up and you really let people, why you think there is a raw wave? Why you think there is a Mo3, a, a Derez and Sean? Because mm-hmm. they're vulnerable. And it's, right. that's that's rare. Nobody, Everybody's bragging about what they got. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.